Welcome to my home. If you're new here, my name is Karen and we're kind of at the point in the basement where we're like, all right, what are we gonna do next? It's not like jumping out at us, which I suppose is a good thing. So we're gonna go over near the door where the outdoor stuff is and talk about if there's anything there we should get rid of. And partly that's what I want is to think of as many things as we can to get rid of because my husband takes my daughter to work and it's right near Goodwill and he could be dropping things off. So that's kind of my goal my immediate goal. You know, I was talking about this over here. Yep. Yeah. That we had talked about going through this. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, we. I thought that was what we already went through. No. No, we did a lot of other stuff, and we sorted right, things. Let's go like we it. have some wood over there, even that needs to go to a restore. habitat for humanity or but restore. We, was it stuff that restore would take? I thought they were because they're of a certain length. All right. This pile of stuff here. All right, let's go through here. it. All right. So let's move the chairs out of the way, and a few other things so we can yeah. see what we're looking well, at. Well, I mean, we got leaf blower. Right, leaf blower. Yeah. I'll start. Yes, I'll cheer you on. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh, and I left a cleaning rag down here so I can dust before I go up. I'm trying to always make sure I keep things clean. Okay, so this this is from underneath the flooring stuff. Uh -huh. I would think, I mean, if we ever had to repair anything, you know, want some This right. is a full thing. This right. is like not even been open, which is a good thing. So you could potentially, you know, like you said, donate it. I mean, that's up to you. I don't mind holding on to that. It at least looks like, because we're going to do our bathroom. Right. I'll set it over here. So, in case we need it for the bathroom. So, we have all of these. These I think we should get rid of. Tubs and containers. Do you want to get rid of them? Like, I get, we're keeping a bucket. What's in here? Oh, these are bulbs. I never, we can get rid of those. The bulbs I never planted. They're probably not even any good. We have a place to plant them now. No, all they're right. still you good. You want to plant them? I can. You should look up when do you plant tulips. Let me see if I can find a trash bag. Are you getting a trash bag? No, no. I was like, where should I put these and so on? Well, you gotta plant them. <laughs> you mean right now? <laughs> we should okay. plant them. Like, Hold on, we're going outside. If, let's let's <laughs> If we don't plant, I mean, they're spring bulbs, so I think you should plant them in the fall. Hey, it's almost fall. If we don't, right. okay. This is the deal. If they don't get planted this this in the next couple months, they're going. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think we could plan a day after the first week of August. We can right. go out and plant a bunch of these. I have an idea of where to put them. So this box has <laughs> all of our. <laughs> Right. Fake mouse toy. So this box over here has like axes and stuff in it. I don't yeah. think we want to get rid of that. That box should stay. Okay. We can put it over with the tools. Well, no, because this is the outdoor stuff. Oh, right. And Good. so that's for outdoor. Yeah. We can put it here with the outdoor stuff. What are we going to do with these um, blue tubs, by the way? You said you want to get rid of them, right? I do, but where are they going? The dump or... The dump. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look like something you would typically donate, so right, I guess we take them to the dump. So we can put things in them that we're going to take to the dump. And then this thing. Yeah, that's a roof attachment. I know what it is. I don't think we need it anymore. We rent when we drive. Right. Lately, far. we've been doing that. Is that something you can donate? Yeah. All right. Let's other people it. would want it. It's gonna get donated. Yeah. If not, we could put it out at the road. Oh yeah, whole. do the free. I think we should put it out the road and put a free sign on it. I feel like that's something that would, somebody would take. Alright, I am just moving the vacuum. We gotta have the straps and stuff for it, but someone else can work on that quite a bit. I'll set it here for the moment, but I'll get it out to the curb today. There's a okay. spider. This is flooring. There's and we spiders. Have, yeah, I'm sure there is. Huh. Yeah. It's okay. It's just, yeah, they're not, they're not dangerous by any means. She was just worried about a spider. <laughs> so we have a box of this over there that's unopened. We may want to keep them together if you're going to do some either repair or if you're going mean, to do it in, some, the, in the bathroom upstairs. Are you able to do repair? That's not water resistant. There's no way we could put that upstairs. This isn't? It's already chipping, so to me, it's it's... 
not even durable enough because the kitchen one is not holding up well at all. I feel like if it was water resistant, it would be bragging as such and it's not. So it is not water resistant and I don't feel like it's holding up well in the kitchen. I have some chipping that has happened and it's gray, but it's brown underneath like that thin layer of gray. I got it at Lick Lumber Liquidators. I don't know if that's like a nationwide thing, but I was 100% not impressed with it. To be honest, you're gonna move that over, over with, with the other. And then what's this? That is that goes with it. This goes down first, I think, oh, okay. and then the, where you want to put it over. Well, where are we? I thought we were keeping the building supplies here. Like, well, do you want it all in your workshop? No, we can keep them here. Right. So I feel most like of this stuff is fine. I think the only thing you're looking at, I mean, the sheetrock you can probably keep, and then this door needs to go. Right. Unless we're planning on making a door desk in any time nope. soon. Well, let's pull the door out. What's in this? This is the ceiling in the bathroom, but oh, there's should... only like one piece. Then we should we get rid of that. We could donate it. You can't donate that to, re to restore. Uh, there's it's one, one piece. One and a quarter pieces. And then you're getting rid of this door. And then what's this behind it? Sheet rock? That's sheet rock. Yeah. All right. We'll definitely need to keep the sheet rock. That's actually not a bad door. No, we covered it with uh, material, if you remember. All right. I'm going to get my broom to sweep this out before we put more building supplies there. This looks way, way better. That yes. looks mighty fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then this is the stuff that's leaving. This is one sheet of leftover ceiling from our downstairs bathroom. Definitely not enough to do the upstairs bathroom. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of it because we can't use it. All right. One more thing that's going to be an easy thing to get rid of is my son Francois, when he was here two visits ago, went through all of his items. He came down to the basement because he had his car with him. I didn't even ask him to, so super thankful, grateful. And he told me <clears throat> the last time he was here um, that anything that's his in the basement can go. So we need to extract his from the area that is more like a storage unit for everybody. And I am going to give you a tour at the end of this video because somebody asked for that. I'll give you like a full basement tour. But anyway, that's kind of an easy thing to declutter for today. So that means this box, we're going to rebox it though because this is a good box. It fits perfectly and it's see-through. Um, any box that says homeschool or school, we're going to keep for now. Do I have my camera on? Yes, I do. We're going to keep those for now. Whose are these? Those are his, right? Yep. Okay, those are good. So let's get cardboard boxes so we can rebox this. I know that's his. I need to see who that is. I need to see who that is. That's his. This is his. That I'll keep because it's schoolwork. I might at some point combine it into what I actually need because I don't need all of it. And that can go. That stays because it's homeschool, and that can go. Oh my goodness, he had a lot. They ain't gonna fit in that box. They're nowhere near warm. Okay. I can wear that All in right. the winter or whatever. Because <clears throat> I need to get rid of these other uh, ones. Those we'll get rid of. So I have other ones to get rid of. Then we'll of have more shoe boxes too. Oh, what's sticky in here? Oh, the cleats are sticky. That's nasty. Oh, those are nice though. Why are they sticky? He probably put glue on them put those so in the trash. to repair them. Yeah. I'm going to put these on the floor for now until I figure out what I'm doing. This is going to open up this whole shelf. It's going to make a big difference. Oh yeah, these. These never fit him. Those are Christian. No, those are okay. friends. Oh. I was with them. Oh. They never fit him though. And he kept them anyway. And then these. You want these too? Um, possibly, I guess. I, I mean, see. are you going to wear them? Yeah, we got winter here. What are you, what? What are you doing? Aw, and this. <laughs> Such a warrior. And then this. <laughs> I 
this. If you have boys who are mechanically inclined, this snap circuit is a really great gift. There's so many things that can build with them, including a radio that actually works. It just takes four AAA, no, four AA batteries, but this is an awesome gift for a boy. This can be a box we donate with some things in it. What's in there? Uh, tele, uh, oh, microscope. this is my microscope, so we're keeping that. You can put it on top of the boss china. Oh, Nerf stuff. So yeah, we're getting rid of this. I think I could probably let go of this box too. So we can put some more things in this box and add to it. So that's not the yeah. Those are this is like those are travel boxes, but they don't fit on. No, them. those are curtains. I don't need that. And then Nerf stuff. Nerf guns. Ah, Nerf glasses. So. You can just bring that right over to the... Well, we could probably fit a little more in there. Maybe bring all of his stuff out here and we'll do it there. I'm like giddy. We'll keep the school. I really just need to keep a sample, but I don't have, to, I'm not, I don't have the bandwidth for that today. And this is clothing. And probably his snowsuit. I bet it's his snowsuit. Here. Which we probably want to keep the snowsuit since we use it when we're tired of here. And this is schoolwork. So what I'll have you do, but I'm scared to do it myself because I don't want to hurt myself. I got one box that I'm going to have to move down. If we could take this box mm -hmm. and put it down to the bottom. So you're doing with the shoe boxes. There I am. Sorry. These shoe boxes we could use where we have like winter boots and stuff. Very curious about this. This is very odds and ends. This looks like stuff that was for the office. There's while yeah, there's like well, mouse. So there's like a mixture. Yes. There Let's was, take this out and deal with it. There was stuff that was in the stairwell pockets when you come down the stairs. Oh. That's what it is. And you had one of the girls take care of that one day. Uh -huh. We haven't gone through. It's obviously a great decision on my part. I also know this belongs to Francois, so I can get rid of that too. <laughs> I even wore it one Christmas. I just saw this up there, so I had Robin look, and it's off-season clothes for the girls, my teenagers. So I'm going to take that down and bring it up to the living room, have them go through it. It's from like last fall, and so since fall shopping is coming soon, I feel like it's the ideal time to go through it. Also, my eye caught this wreath on the top, and I'm kind of over that one. I like the one on the underneath, but this one I'm going to let go. That's upside down, but you get the idea. So now we just need to get this stuff in the boxes we're donating. This is his snowsuit. I'm going to keep this because we did use this when my son Tyler was here. So I feel like it could get used again. I'm going to hang, hang it up with the coats. Good. Yeah, I'm going to hang that with the coats. Yeah. Oh, I'm hot. Hot flash! See, eventually, especially if your kids move away, away, they have to think, am I going to use this stuff? Is it worth moving hundreds of miles? And the answer was clearly no. That's not bad. Two boxes, so we can move. Do you want to put that in the car now, or do you want to put it by the door and then do you it all at once? Put these in the car. Yeah. yeah, I can do that. Okay. I've got well, actually, all the stuff that's over there needs to be out, right? Yeah. I just found another box in here. This that, isn't all his. Though. Well, it is. It's just some of it is trash, and some of it's donatable. Do you want me to bring it yeah, out? Yeah, bring so it out and we'll go through that one too. Honestly, for me, it is a small price to pay to go through some of these boxes that the kids leave behind when they do move out and when they've taken everything they want. I totally do not mind going through them, taking out anything that I can donate. Here was a sketchbook and I just took out the one page that was used and then we could just donate the rest of it. All right, get excited. Get rid of stuff. Do you want to move this crap when you leave? Because you already moved it. It's like moving out, you just don't know where you're going yet. <laughs> Is it on? Yes. All right.
Is this thing on? Is this thing Oh, wow, I just walked through this big in the top of it. That's just water. Oh, yeah, that whole thing. Oh, my yeah. goodness. It's like a haunted house. It's yeah. all attached to your way. It's up there. <laughs> Woo! <It's laughs> this is what happens when it rains up here. We get nothing but every bug and his brother wants to build his house in here. <laughs> we need to, like, get the shot back out. I can get in the bulkhead. They come underneath this crack right here. Oh. You thought about sealing that up? <laughs> I have. Yeah. thought about it. Not today. Tomorrow's not looking good either. <laughs> All right, here is the load that's going to Goodwill today. It feels amazing. I was asked to do a tour of the whole basement at once because every time I do one of these videos, you see a part of the basement, but not the whole thing together. So here is where we are in the basement. When you come down the stairs, there's the cans we shoot down the stairs that are returnables. You get five cents a piece in Maine. So here we go to the right. Here we go to the right. So that's where I have like decor and games and any DVDs, things that we might want to haul up the stairs to use. There's the freezer we want to get rid of, the refrigerator, bicycles, the cat area, and the exit door out the bulkhead. So you can see this is where I have the, well, it's outdoor stuff and also building supplies. So behind this is where the outdoor stuff shelf is, but this is going to the dump tomorrow. So there it is. And that's where the cats sleep at night. This is where I have the empty boxes, and you can see my furnace all the way over here. To the left, that's my husband's workshop area. We put the piano there. We have boots and such there because that's stuff you'd want to be accessible. This shelf has homeschool stuff right there. Again, stuff I would want to be accessible. What little I have left to extra cleaning supplies. And this is a spare printer, which we might end up getting rid of. It just wasn't as good as what we needed. It was supposed to be for art prints. So now back to the right where I just showed you. Let's go back. So this goes in a circle. Here is where all of the seasonal stuff goes with the chairs. We haven't even used much because it rains so much. They just get wet. My luggage. This is stuff that was more important to my husband. Well, those are two safes that we have. It's nothing important to anybody but us. It's just paperwork. And then my husband's books. And you come around to where I showed you his work area just a minute ago. So there's that homeschool stuff. So back here again. So please note, these are the empty boxes, which I'm getting quite a bit of empty boxes. And I'm about ready to get rid of some because I don't need all of these. Now we come back around. So, you know, you see how this makes a complete circle. So there's the stairs I just came down, right? And then if you keep going, this is actually under my office upstairs. So my entire office, that's the same square footage. So this is where I have this. My intention is this to be more of a storage unit for each kid. These are some coats that belong to different people. It's where I keep the winter coats off season. But I think we probably could get rid of some, honestly. This area is really a bit of a mess. But this is where we just took Fran's stuff off of. So this is stuff for my kids. Photos. I have them on the floor to bother me so that I will go through them. Oh, my goodness. 
why does that feel like such a chore? I don't even know. And my husband had pulled some photos out and he put those here. So maybe I'll bring the other box out here too. Either way, I have Christmas stuff here. These are photos and that's, whoops, that's an electric piano. I have a spare wreath there. This is a fried daddy that I probably should just get rid of. I know I want to get rid of that vase. And I'm kind of surprised it's there. I feel like I got rid of it. I wonder if someone rescued it. But I know this and these I intended to get rid of. So we'll have to grab those again. And then we have like um, inflatable mattresses here. This, this is the stuff for when my grandkids are here. More of the photo stuff. Get that out of the way. See? This stuff is invaluable because they live far away. They fly here. That way I have all the supplies I need. And I also have like blankets, comforters down here as well. So this is really invaluable to having kids that are having kids. This over here is more of the baby furniture. This I can get rid of too. That's a broken heater right here. So see how I need to get in here. And then this is a better look at all the kids stuff and then after the shelf I just took Francois stuff off we have the taller building supplies that we might be using because we're about to remodel the bathroom and then looking out from this area that I'm in now the storage unit you can see the rest of the basement thank you so much for asking I do appreciate questions always be uh, comfortable to ask questions and I promise that it is my intention to always hear good intention in every question not you accusing me of doing something wrong but we're all different it's all good hey I hope this was encouraging motivating for you to just declare a small spot you know it doesn't have to be a huge spot just coming down and doing a very quick declutter to fill the car up is invaluable over time remember as always God loves you I love you too and I can't wait to see you next time